got real excited and joined right in. So if you want to catch that boat ride, it's only eight dollars, but you have to get to Israel to do it. I was going to go into how to get to Israel, but that's Kathy's message. So we're only twenty-four ninety-five. In reality, we're going to go in October. If you have not yet signed up for that trip or another one, we do have space available. How can we partner with Israel? There are several ways. I'll tell you what I do. I guess out of experience, that's the best you can do. You can hear all kinds of stuff, but until you actually try it and do it, it's, it's not really in your heart. And I became a friend of Israel probably in 1973. I was in uh, my last year of high school. And Someone gave me a, uh, a little pamphlet by David Wilkerson. God bless him, he's home now. Uh, and it spoke about Israel, his love for Israel. I never knew the impact that he had for the land until I read some of the items written about him. But anyway, that was the first time. Another big moment that came in my life was this little book, Our Debt to Israel, that Derek Prince wrote. Every opportunity I get, I always hold it up and say, if you have 10 minutes, <coughs> read it. Derek wrote this in the mid-70s. It's over on our table there. When I read it, I go, yeah, that makes sense. We have a debt to Israel. The Jewish people gave us the Bible. The Jewish people gave us the apostles. The Jewish people gave us the Messiah, Yeshua. Everything that we have, the olive tree, the root, is the Jewish people. And by God's promise, he brought them back to the land. And that's why we have a heart for Israel. To me, it's a supernatural thing. I, it, it's not a brain mentality. I didn't study it in a book. Certainly my high school teachers didn't teach me in the Catholic school I went to. My one year of college, the professors, they didn't teach me about it. They tried to deny the faith. It's a hard thing that the Lord puts in your heart. And the fact that you're here among two million people probably within a, an hour of this place are out there doing something, the fact that you're here already shows that God put that supernatural thing in your heart for the love of Israel and his people. So how do you go from beyond here? Do you attend these events? You march in the March of Remembrance. That will become an annual event with the OCN Vetch Shop Road. Um, I love how Vet Yeshua has done these feasts every year. That's how I got to know Curtis and Douglas. And then when I put them on YouTube, the whole world gets to see them. And on the Facebook pages, the whole world gets to see them. And so it just connects them. One thing I'll mention last week, I took a few videos during our March of Remembrance up in Concord, or China Grove, and Kathy got to speak at uh, one of the closing moments. And so I videotaped that, along with Yossi's message before and a couple others. And I was checking today on my uh, blog, Lovers People, and the video of Kathy was near the top. I go, man, how'd that happen? Here I was down in four or five and she's on top. I know what it is. It's the lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'm gonna wear a lipstick. So anyway, all in jest. <laughs> There's another article on that, Love for His People blog, written by Dr. Bill Durfeld, who spends three months with his wife, Cindy, serving in the land, volunteers, January through March. They've done that the last five years. They live in Asheville. He's on our board. He wrote this article, which will come in the next Ahava Love Letter, called, uh, Is Allah the God of the Bible? Well, we know he's not. I got 38 people from Saudi Arabia looking at that. Uh, isn't that exciting? Yeah. You can do that, too. I live in Pineville. Where's Pineville? Well, that's a little hick town south of Charlotte. And yet people, when you go on Facebook, when you put stuff on YouTube, when you Twitter, all of this social media stuff, people are looking at it. Three, four minutes of, of video.
video. They're looking at it. And we are in an era where social media is going to be the way of the future, if not already. We got to be putting our stuff out there. The other side is. Um, so be part of that. Don't shy away from it. Put your pictures of these events on there. And, and be bold about it. I love Israel. Tell the world, I love Israel. Don't Amen. be afraid. Amen. They need Amen. friends. And we need to be their friends. I subscribe to this magazine, Israel Today. It's written by a Messianic Jew. I met him in Jerusalem last October. His name is Aviel Schneider. He does this as a business. And every time I get his email, so every opportunity I have, I'll Facebook one of his articles, stick it on my page. People read that. You can get the Jerusalem Post Christian edition. There's another way of just keeping up with the, what's going on in Israel, partnering with them. And by subscribing, you are supporting the economy. The Israel Ministry of Tourism, they have an annual booth at the NRB, National Religious Broadcast Pastors in Nashville. Say that I go past. I I become friends with the guys. Joe Diaz, a Sephardic Jew, runs the office in Southeast in Atlanta. And I got to know him a little bit more this year, so I write to the Israel Ministry of Tourism and to get all this free stuff. The Pilgrim's Map of the Holy Land. I have some more over there. You're welcome to get them. Visit Israel. It'll never be the same. It's a DVD. There's some over there. They're free. You can get them from the Israel Ministry of Tourism. Biblical sites for Christian visitors. Uh, next time you visit Israel. All this stuff. You can get a hold of it. You can pass it on. You can let people know that the land is a good place to be, to support. I enjoy supporting other ministries. I want to be a, a networker. I want to see unity come between the Gentile and the Jew. That's my heart. I think that's the Lord's heart. Of all the prayers that Jesus prayed, John 17, that they may be one. Jonathan Burness, I watch him on TV. He's coming to uh, south of Charlotte here, June 18th, with uh, a gentleman by the name of Waleed Shabbat, who was a former uh, terrorist born in Bethlehem, did everything he could to destroy Israel and the Jewish people. He's going to be one of the speakers. I need eight volunteers to help me usher. So, come and support the land of Israel. Derek Prince, again, I've worked with them for eight years, and so I consider him the best Bible teacher that ever lived. He's with the Lord now. He had this proclamation on behalf of Israel that Derek and Ruth spoke, prayed on many times. Since I've known about it for probably 10 years now, I make it a habit in my Monday through Friday prayer time to read them, to read them out loud, to declare them, to tell the spiritual atmosphere above my house, above the world, that I'm proclaiming, I'm partnering with Israel. So there's a number of things that you can do that doesn't cost you money. Uh, it's available. And so I would encourage you to do it.